Am I the unlucky one? What wrong have I done? Why God, why? Why are you making me suffer? I am always good to others. This is Mr. Good, a good person like you and me. Always very busy, no time for health and family. He bear all the pains of life. Never at all satisfied with anything. Always keeps on complaining and criticizing. Not able to chase his financial and social goals. The problem with Mr. Good is that he has become a people pleaser. Well, a people pleaser is a person who feels that he has no option but to say yes to every expectation of others. But internally he knows he is doing it wrong. It's totally an artificial behavior. He fails to communicate his real self. Actually, he lies to his own self to make others feel joyful. We are taught to grab each and every opportunity that falls our way. But we slowly turn ourselves into a yes saying puppet. We fail to apply filter for real opportunities. What about you? How many times have you reacted to a random request by saying yes without really thinking of it? How many times do you regret after you have committed to do something and wondered what am I doing? How often do you casually say yes simply to avoid trouble? Or saying yes to anything has become your second nature. The main trouble with good people is we say yes to everything and we regret afterwards. We have become a people pleasing entity. We believe doing good to others will benefit us and we overlook the needs of our own life. Actually, we allow others to control our life. Good person needs a better way of communicating by saying a simple no to the non-essential. We should stop impressing the people we dislike. Instead, we should learn to say no. We don't need to be a good person. We need to become a great person. And a great person invests his time in creating a schedule, a process of removing obstacles and making progress. Great person removes the non-essential so he can focus on his goals. To embrace the essence of a great person, we need to replace this false assumption that what others will think to what is really important to us. Great person believes in a free will. Free will comes by making correct decisions, which is choosing the essential. This is how a great person says no. Always be polite and reply with a smile. Take a pause before answering, which will buy you some extra time to think. Ask them, I will check my calendar and get back to you. Suggest them a better person, more capable than you. Ask your boss which project should I work on first when he puts a new project to your desk. And if you have already made a casual commitment which you are regretting, simply apologize to that person and say, I can't. Initially, you will face criticism. You may fear of breaking a relation. But believe me, you will prosper in the longer term horizon. These days, social media is another wrong influencer for a good person. Social media is all about others. It's about what they are doing. It's about their success. You are just a person applauding for them. What about your own goals? Good person has this false notion that news will benefit him to upgrade. But like social media, news is no different. 90% of news is negative. Mr. Good realized it too late that being a good person is not enough. Now he knows why good people suffer. What about you? Are you stuck in the loop of artificial busy routine? How many times have you wondered 
after saying yes to many things and not going anywhere you must identify what is important and vital eliminate the things which are stopping you you should stop worrying about others rather honor your own needs give a pause and ask yourself am i investing in the right activities you should have courage to say no to the non essential drama of goodness become great because good is not enough learning to say no is a core building block for self discipline to know more about discipline watch this video don't forget to share and subscribe